Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Toyota Land Cruiser V8, a striking good looking and one of the most powerful cars. This 2014 model is an expert off road driving, bristling with intelligent features that make the seemingly impossible look easy. Well, this is the latest asset of the NRM Secretariat, Plot 10 Chad on the Road. As a party, we went out to look for funds, and the, the chairman of the party also contributed, and the, we procured vehicles. For each of this, the ruling party coughed 360 million Ugandan shillings. This 4.5-litre petrol engine Land Cruiser imported from London has four cameras providing six views of the car's surroundings. We're organising the money to make sure that the, the six can also uh, come in the country, possibly in a month or so. The total cost of all the vehicles is $3 billion, but they are, still, they are still delivering more. Deo Matanga is an administrator at Kampala Modernity Limited, a car dealership. He explains what lies ahead for the owners of the cars. They, they have got so many extra trucks, unlike the, 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 the past land cruisers or the previous land cruisers. Uh, um, I believe the owners of those vehicles will enjoy them. This power machine has the ability to drive with ease in the mud and sand. It also has five terrain modes and can adjust accordingly. And in case any of the officials must travel to the rocky areas and districts of Uganda while doing party work, the V8 provides a maximum grip on the rocks and drive they will. This will be the first time the NRM Secretariat is receiving a boost on resources of this kind. Its timing cannot be underestimated amid a backdrop of the sacking of the party's former Secretary General and President Museveni's confidant, Amam Mbabazi. The cars have been given unique number plates to match with the new positions. RM, which stands for Resistance Movement, is preceded by 27001, which will belong to the Secretary General. All have flags, with the Secretary General flying two, that of Uganda and the East African community. There is currently no law on who should fly a flag or not have one on their cars. Only the President's motorcade has been seen flying two flags. The parks enjoyed by the new foot soldiers at Plot 10 extend further. Even as technocrats, they are to receive privileges and salaries accorded to cabinet ministers. We are also supposed to procure vehicles for our staff. Because we are also going through restructuring. We want professionals, we want people who do the work, people who do the work and meet the targets, but they must also be facilitated. In January this year, NRM Secretariat approached Kampala Modernities with a need for cars that would help them in easing their work. And these cars are the result of that meeting. But there are concerns that this could cause the taxpayer to cough more money in the coming budget. Most of these are members of parliament uh, and uh, they have official vehicles given to them by parliament. In addition, they are now going to be using taxpayers' money because they cannot tell us the source for, of this money. No, that is not money from taxpayers. The money we are given from taxpayers' money, the 7.9 billion, part of it we are going to use it for registration, but also part of it to pay staff their salaries. The car's first task will be to assist the Secretariat officials in the first registration of NRM party members, which started Tuesday in Gulu. Shilandhuchere, NTV.